Hi, so this is just a quick video to show some of the things that I've upgraded to now that I'm doing a lot of diamond paintings. Um, I'm now doing the full uh, drill sets. So it's square diamonds and there are a lot of them. So this is my system for keeping track of them. Um, I actually put the label on the front with the number on these little, they're little bead containers for jewelry making. And then I put the symbol on top and if the symbol's not on my P-Touch, I just print out some white tape and then draw it on for myself. But this works pretty well. The only disadvantage is that mine are not real big, which I kind of like for the space on the table. But as you can see, I have big bags here. And so what I end up doing is refilling my little containers later. Um, some of my projects, there's only been a couple that need to be refilled, but this project's definitely going to need lots of refills. So, I don't know, you might want to look and see if you can find a little bit bigger, um, if you want to use this kind of system to keep track of your diamonds. The other thing is, whenever I set up a project in the beginning, and I'm pouring the diamonds from these little baggies into the tray or into these containers, because it's plastic bag, plastic tray, plastic container, I have these issues with static cling. They want to just fly all over the place. It makes a big mess. So this is what I finally figured out today. Seems pretty obvious now that I think about it. But um, what I started using was a um, cling free, so like a dryer sheet. And the nice thing is mine have these little folds in them. I think probably most of them do. So it makes a nice crease too. And all I do, I hand this over to my daughter. Just pour these diamonds into the onto the uh, dryer sheet and then just give them a little shake but I kind of make sure that they've all touched the sides of the cling free the dryer sheet and then just tap it into my container so the great thing about this is that later when I pour from this plastic container into one of my trays the static cling will be gone too because otherwise that's a continuing issue throughout the project but whoops so they're kind of like they're like decharged basically so that has saved me a lot of grief now um anyway that's it for now just a couple little pointers thanks for watching bye